Hi guys, welcome to the Saving Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you find any of today's entertainment helpful, don't forget to smash the lovely like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to check the subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. If you're looking for a free trading platform in which to trade your stocks and shares, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. Now, on with the show. And we're discussing mergers. We've all heard about the tortoise acquisition of... Uh, Ticker symbol SHLL of Helion. We know about Nicola. We know about Forum Merger and Tattoo Chef. And we know about OPES and BurgerFi. Although I will touch on that later. Because a few people have asked about it. Now, it's a new one coming up. Golden Point Acquisition Core, or GPAQ. Not the GPA from school, for the, our friends across the pond, but anyway. As when they announced they were doing an acquisition, it jumped. But they're acquiring stadiums specifically smart stadiums you know they now they i don't know whether or not it's a good deal at the moment i've only just heard of it but i thought you might want to know when that when I know I haven't purchased any of these at this point I'm just informing you and the next one is graph in industrial court tick a symbol G R A F and again the moment they've announced it it's gone up and they are taking over polypro industrial recycling Now, it is basically a plastic recycling facility. They have a lot of information on their website. Uh, they have 40 years of experience in recycling. And what they are hoping to do. Uh, you have to wonder whether they would do well or bad out of all this uh, crackdown on not using plastics in the first place. And we have Collier Creek Holdings. And I'm sorry, I uh, couldn't find it on finance <laughs> for some reason. But apparently, they're taking over Uts Foods. Now, the thing about Uts is they mainly supply restaurants and pubs and like, and they, you couldn't really in supermarkets you couldn't really buy their products unless you're going to buy bulk of them. But they seem to Uts seem pretty good anyway next one is Leo Holdings and this one well they're supposed to be taking over digital media solutions basically if you want to set up a website uh, market it these guys will do that all for you trying to monetize it in but it's 
one of those that I couldn't find that much about. HL Acquisitions Core. Not Hargreaves Lansdowne, no, but it's ticker symbol HCCH. And they went up and had a bit of a pullback down. No. And they are taking over Fusion, which is uh, hoping to be the next plug power. And the next one is not strictly an acquisition, but more an IPO to look out for. A reason I think it's worth looking out for is because, like all IPOs, it started off badly. Remember Facebook? It dropped from 36 to $20. And people were saying it's going to fail. It's like with this one. Now, it went up. It's over $16 and now it's $15.50. Now, the, it's, now that's misleading saying the 52 week range is $72.50 because it's only just IPO'd. No. Yeah. They are the second biggest grocery store in America. And they're number three on Robin Hood. They, they are second to Kruger. I'm sure you all know who they are. They wanted to sell 50 million shares, but they didn't reach that. They, uh, the original IPO was 36 million, and then I think they ended up with like 42. And it, it didn't go well for them. Mm. It's 15% held by insiders still, and 74% by institutions, which after an IPO isn't unusual. Now, showing a gross profit of 17.5 billion. Now, that they have a debt of 14.75 billion. Now, I think this is one that could do well. Now, I may be wrong, but the thing is, you know, you have to look into everything. Their total assets are 24.7 billion. Their liabilities are 22.4 billion. So, they have a couple of billion on the hand. That says, of February. Now, the other thing is, we know groceries stores have done well selling a lot of money, uh, selling a lot of stock, selling our stock with a panic buying during the March, April, May period. They had costs as well, but they have sold stock. I think you should have a look at Kruger who has doubled the price and have a look at more than double the price and have a look at Albertson and see if you're willing to take the risk. Remember, looking back now, wouldn't you have liked to get in on Facebook at $20 a share? I know I would have. Anyway, let me know your comments in the box before, below. Are you looking to pick up ACI or any of the other 
show companies, spec companies. Are you uh, already in any of them? Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.